Hey guys, thank you very much for joining me. Now I had planned on doing a 1000 subscriber giveaway video, but then I received this package in the mail all the way from the US of A. So this is going to be an unboxing video. But um, just very quickly, before I get into the unboxing, here's a quick look at what the, uh, the giveaway is going to be. As you can see there, I'll, uh, I'll go into more detail on the actual video, but the prize is going to be a set of eight A4 sized Mandalorian concept art prints. So stay tuned for that. All right, onto the uh, the package that I received. It is from the boys over at the Hyperspace Vault. Dave and Alex sent that package to me. So uh, this is uh, pretty much unexpected. I remember uh, watching one of their videos and commenting on a, a figure that I hadn't seen out here and uh, I think Dave offered to uh, to send me one but I, I really hadn't followed that up so yeah this is uh, I'm, I'm assuming that's what this this figure is going to be uh, yeah uh, I can open this box uh, a bit unexpected but um, I can't wait to check it out all right there's a, uh, a note on top Happy New Year, Babbling Booby, and congr congratulations on 1,000 subscribers, Dave and Alex. Thank you very much, guys. Much appreciated. And, yeah, that... Oh, what? There's two figures in here. Okay, so that is very unexpected. Yeah, this is the uh, the figure that I was sort of thinking it was going to be. Um, <laughs> I can't believe the... You guys... really been uh, oh, I've never seen this this figure in hand before yeah have a look at that Han Solo Minban or Mud Trooper style cannot wait to crack that open and have a look and the other figure is uh, I almost said IG-88 IG-11 from The Mandalorian wow and exclusive. Oh, I can't remember if it was released here. It probably was. I, I didn't see it if it was, but um, yeah, nice. Very nice indeed. Can't wait to crack these open and uh, and take a closer look, which I will do right now. All right, let's start off taking a look, a uh, closer look at. The uh, IG-11 figure, which is basically a, a repaint of the IG-88 Black Series figure that was released earlier, but with a couple of additions. Um, I think this looks fantastic. I like the uh, the color palette they've used on this figure. It very much is uh, in line with the Mandalorian. It's got a, a different bandolier to the previously released IG-88. Um, as you can see there, it comes with two weapons instead of the three weapons of OG88 E11 Blaster, which does have sort of a, a silver dry brushing on there to give it a, a weathered look. Whereas the other rifle, I cannot for the life of me remember what that model uh, of weapon is, but that is just uh, even though the light looks like it's being uh, it's been dry brushed, it hasn't. It's just plain black plastic and then uh, again the legs have a distinctive paint look on them compared to the IG previously released IG88 figure feet have a bit of weathering on there that looks cool yeah I really like the look of that but here is going to be a, uh, a quick comparison with IG88 although you've probably already all seen that before and there you go um, same sculpt but different paint job and different I guess you call it accessories as you can like I said before the uh, bandoliers are different the uh, E11 blasters are actually uh, different sculpt original one didn't have any weathering on it again at the back the rear there you can see how the uh, bandoliers look different so it's uh, you know, it's a, it's a cool addition to... Oh, hang on. 
Oh, what? Let's see if we can get some focus on those those rubber joints and the elbows of the original IG-88 figure. They've, uh, oh man, they've disintegrated. I don't know if it's because I had them posed uh, a little bit bent or what, but uh, this figure's not that old. That's shocking. Look at that. Okay, on to Muddy Hand Solo, and I really wanted this figure because I like the design of the Mud Trooper, and this is going to be how I have him displayed, not with Han Solo's, young Han Solo's face. Uh, yeah, this looks so cool. I really love it. Elements of uh, on the helmet, a bit like uh, you know ATST driver helmet going on there. Maybe a bit of General Veers, the goggles. The goggles give him sort of a stormtrooper a look. Um, I, I didn't like this design at first because I thought it was. And here's a quick look at his blaster rifle. I thought they originally tried to incorporate too many different elements of too many different trooper designs into this this design, um, but it has grown on me. I still think they tried to shove too many different elements from too many different troopers in there, but um, I do like it now. I really like it now. Um, yeah, so there you can see uh, the overall figure with these on the back. That sort of backpack is uh, like a, you know, the Rogue One troopers, the Scarif trooper, Shaw trooper. Again, with the uh, the Shin armor, that's very much like a, a Shaw trooper. Um, yeah, it really has grown on me, and the goggles are removable, which is a nice feature. You can pose them up on the helmet um, the face mask is obviously removable and then looking at the face like that that's not a bad likeness to Alden Ehrenreich from uh, his appearance in in Solo I don't think that looks quite good as a likeness I don't like him as Han Solo but uh, I might get into that here in this video and then the helmet is removable as well uh, the face print technology is cool. The hair sculpt looks all right. He's got his 70 sideburns. Um, so overall, the figure has been really well done. But I'll be displaying uh, this guy as a, a generic mud trooper and not as Han Solo. So here's a quick look at my Black Series six inch Solo <laughs> action figure collection. It consists of three figures, three troopers. And uh, as you can see there, the Range Trooper, the Moonband Storm Trooper, and the Mud Trooper. The Mud Trooper easily is my favourite figure of these three. And onto my Mandalorian Black Series 6 inch action figure collection. Consists of four figures as you can see there. IG-11, which I, as I just mentioned looks amazing. The Off-World Jawa with his soft goods. You got the the Mandalorian in his original armor configuration. I'm sure we'll be getting a, a full Beskar armor version in the not too distant future, and also Cara Dune. So there you have it, guys. Uh, I could not be happier to add these two fantastic Black Series six-inch figures to my collection, and I would not have been able to do that without uh, for the help of the guys over at the Hyperspace Vault, Dave and Alex. Thank you very much once again. If you haven't checked out their channel, uh, make sure you go over and have a look, watch their videos, give them a, a sub, and I will try and remember to leave a, a link to the, in the description to their channel, but uh, the Hyperspace Vault, check them out. Thank you guys. Uh, stay tuned for my next video, which should be the 1,000 subscriber uh, giveaway, which I sort of previewed a little bit earlier on um, I'll try and get that up very soon and uh, thank you to everyone who has subscribed to the channel both new and old subscribers thank you for watching this video don't forget to uh, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think of these figures in the comments down below and as always may the force be with you